What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am of course C and Puma, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks for making this video a part of your day. So here we are in universe mode. C and Puma is on SmackDown as we take a look at our champions. Big E is the World Heavyweight Champion. Shane McMahon, the United States Champion. Carmella, the SmackDown Champion. And Breezango, uh, SmackDown. The SmackDown Women's Champion. Breezango are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Now let's take a look at the rankings here where Puma is. He's 19th uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship, but check that out. Number one for that United States Championship. So, if you're unfamiliar with how we do things, we go through the entire month. So this video will be the whole month of August. It will end at SummerSlam. We only play CM Puma's matches. We don't care what's going on Raw because we're not on Raw. So, with that said... As we take a look here at SmackDown, we got Hardy and Gable, Eric Rowan and Shane McMahon, the Hype Bros versus Baron Corbin and Rusev, the Usos versus, and I can never remember these freaking guys' names, Los Matadores, okay. We got the New Day versus Brizango, AJ Styles and Kevin Owens, and Ziggler and Chris Jericho. It doesn't look like we're on this card, so we head to the calendar. And we move forward to the second week of SmackDown. McMahon's got a promo. AJ Styles and Chad Gable. Big E versus Connor. Kane versus Luke Harper. Ty Dillinger with a promo. Triple threat with Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, and Kevin Owens. Now, we traded for Raw, Jeff Hardy and Matt, for Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan. Even though Daniel Bryan and Sami Zayn were SmackDown superstars, somehow Daniel Bryan was the Universal Champion, and somehow... Daniel Bryan and Sami Zayn were the Raw Tag Team Champions. So we just flat out traded guys. So he now they're on Raw and we get the Hardy Boys. And it I about had it with Chris Jericho. So, so far all we've faced are Chris Jericho, uh, The Undertaker, Kane. We've been in a triple threat match with Kevin Owens and AJ Styles. Another triple threat match with Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Uh, let's look at our rivalries here. We got Shane McMahon versus Eric Rowan, The New Day versus Connor and Victor, The Ascension, Ziggler, and Dillinger. So we're going to take on Chris Jericho. That's how this goes. Let's get started. All right, so as we run back through the show here, Shane McMahon, um, inter or, uh, Eric Rowan interrupts Shane McMahon. Gable beats AJ Styles. Big E defeats Connor. Kane beats Luke Harper. Uh, Ty Dillinger had a promo, which was interrupted by Dolph Ziggler. Hardy wins the three-way uh, triple threat match. Shane McMahon has another promo. And now we face off against Chris Jericho in the main event on SmackDown. Let's get to it. Let's go. Oh, man, I pushed... Oh, I tried to run, and I pushed the wrong button. I've been playing... Uh, the Lucha Libre AAA game, and dang, and the reverse button is R1, and run is L1, and this whole thing is just, it's just got me backwards. All right, there we go. We're getting things in order now. So, we've been putting on five-star matches, um, and that's helped us move up the ladder, so I have no doubt that after Shane McMahon and, um, and Eric Rowan's rivalry, we might get a shot at that United States Championship. And thank goodness, because it, it just took way too long in uh, my career mode. Which, speaking of my career mode, so I've been playing it offline, or if you want to call it that. I just haven't been recording it. I've just been playing through it. I'm ranked 5th in that Intercontinental Championship, so still. I think when we stopped, I was ranked 6th. Um, and then right after... I got done. Uh, oh, perfection. Um, I ranked up, and anyway. So, I've tried to start a rivalry with... Um, oh, man. Good thing I didn't use my... Try to use my signature. I tried to start a rivalry with Dean Ambrose, and in a month, I probably have been in a rivalry and out of rivalry... I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe four times. Like, it only lasts uh, uh, one night. And 
It's that's dumb. I don't understand. Uh, but the whole time, oh man, come on, you know what I'm trying to do. Jeez, the whole time, um, I, I'm treated like the number one contender. So I don't know what's going on over there. My plan was to get the intercontinental title shot and then record that for you guys and show that to you and you know just kind of big moments in puma's career on in my career mode so i i, I don't know i mean oh really there we go oh man god dang it god dang it Whatever. We'll frog splash this fool. I don't care. Bam. And we're we'll ju we're just gonna do every move we can we can think of. Oh boy. Come on now. Oh. Oh, I see. okay. What you doing? Really? I don't think so. Is this a no DQ match or what? Am I about to get wrecked with a chair? Really? Oh my gosh, I took that ref out and everything. Holy cow. I lost 500 points. Uh-huh. With the ref down, Puma can do whatever he wants. And one more to grow on. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do nothing. Is this no DQ? Let's check. Can I even check here? No, that's not what I want. Match options? None of this is what I want. Well, well what's going on? Alright. I'm not going to use it in the front of the ref. Yeah, the ref took it away. So, there's that. That's good. Jericho trying to get out of this thing the easy way. I don't think so. And a back elbow for you. Let's do this. Try to do this move again since he moved out of the way. Man, we have all three of our finishers. Let's head up to the top rope. And the blue and yellow arrow lands on Jericho. Come on. You know what time it is. There we go. Slap. What did the five fingers say to the face? Boom. Shoulder block. That's what it said. Whew. Come on, Jericho. Get up. So we're gonna we're gonna do some damage. No. Jericho with the reversal. Puma now able to reverse that suplex. Kick no. Right to the jaw of Jericho. My gosh. And we're going to pick Jericho up and right back at it. Kick him in the face. Puma now. Jericho up and an RKO. PKO, I should say. Now to the outside. Does Puma have it? Big frog splash. Holy Toledo. Puma is just taking it to Jericho right now. And a kick to the face. Oh. Okay, Puma's just going to run off. <laughs> He's just going to run off into the crowd. And he catches a bulldog. And, oh, into the ring he goes. It, it looked like Puma was about to hit that ring post. Really? You're not going to taunt on me, son. Oh, my bad. Jericho out of reversals. Puma slides back into the ring. And a kick to the stomach. Followed by a massive clothesline. Puma sandwich there. Come on now. Uh-oh. There he goes. Puma's got him up. For the... Puma Valley Driver. Very nice. Very nice. Now he's gonna Puma's gonna call him up. He's gonna end this match. Get it over with. Follows it up with another Puma Valley Driver. And that's not five stars quite yet. 
So what's Puma going to do? He's going to call him up one more time. Why not? And another Puma Valley driver. Bam. That's it. Three in a row. You can't kick out of that. One, two, three. Of course, CM Puma gets the victory over Jericho after three Puma Valley drivers. Okay, so we have moved on to the third week of SmackDown here. Let's take a look at championships again, see where Puma ranks. We've been 19th. We're up to 16th right there. Still number one there. We don't have a tag team partner, so we're not going to be in those tag team rankings. And we're going to take on Randy Orton. That's very cool. So I've been trying to attack Jinder Mahal. I was going to start a rivalry, rivalry with Jinder Mahal, but... I wasn't able to control the attack, so I don't know. I'm not going to bother with it, I don't guess. Um, let's take a look at the news. Uh, the camaraderie unaffected by their wins or losses to each other. That's kind of neat. So here's the news uh, from the second week. McMahon addressed everyone and why he would be defending his title in his impending championship match. Rowan interrupted to make sure the champion wouldn't have the chance. Uh, Biggie defeated Connor, avoiding frustrated and desperate attacks by the loser and adding more significance to his victory. Dillinger entered the ring to brag about his latest win against Dolph. Dolph interrupted to set the record straight. So, all right, we are facing Randy Orton again in the main event of SmackDown. Let's get to it. All right, before we start our match, let's take a look. Carmella comes with a show opener self promotion. Jeff Hardy beats Kevin Owens in a false count anywhere. Elimination normal tag. We got Breezango versus Baron Corbin and Rusev. Victor defeats Kofi. Ty Angela defeats Harper. AJ beats Eric Rowan. And Jinder Mahal has beat Chris Jericho. And now we are in the main event right now against Randy Orton. We have had our our fair share of run-ins with Randy Orton, but let's uh, end this right here, right now. And we're going to start this off with Randy. Right into the corner he goes. And let's get a knee to the back for Randy. Oh, look at this. As we work on Mr. Orton here, my gosh. Cranking that resting hold. And now we're going to let him go because apparently that's not doing anything. And from the second rope, we land hard on Randy. Get up. Get up, Randy. So again, we're going to do everything we can, get the victory, because we it looks like we are in line for that United States Championship. Get off of me. And if we got to go through Randy Orton to get it, you know, you, oh, no. You're not going to kick me, dude. No. An Olympic slam from Randy Orton. Get kicked in the head. And we're going to super kick. Bow! Oh, man. Randy, the whole his whole red is like... Or his whole red. His whole head is like already kind of red and beat up a little bit. From the second rope, you've got to be kidding me. Randy just moved out of the way. He just sat up, actually. He didn't even move. Come on. Oh, and a shot to the gut from Randy. No, my goodness. Randy Orton with a huge clothesline on, obviously, the much smaller CM Puma. My goodness. Nope. We can do that, but we're going to do kicks, my friend. We get knees to the gut. We do short ranas. In this place. Off the second rope. Bow. That's just for you, Randy. You can you can keep that. That's for you. Over the top rope we go. And Puma goes back out onto the apron. Get him up. Randy Orton awfully close. Let's see if we can hit him with it. Bam. That was perfect. That was perfect. Oh, he reversed us. Randy with a big shoulder block. Stomping on the chest. Come on now. 
Not today. Big knee. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wah! Nice move. We're gonna we're gonna go back up. We're gonna go back up. No, no, no. Imploding 450. Holy cow. I don't know what I'm doing out here. We're gonna do the same thing, and he moves. And we all right, we're able to scoot out of the way. Did we get the reversal? Puma goes up. Oh, right onto the knee, onto the head, I mean, of Randy. And a boosh. Backstabber. Hells to the yeah. Puma now. He since he's got Randy, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start those OMGs. Get out of my ring. And where's where's Puma? Where is he? Oh my god, he's coming out of nowhere. DDT. You know what I just noticed? Our manager is not here. It was it's been Bailey. What happened to her? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. That's a little frustrating. That we've had Bailey on our team this whole time. And she is nowhere to be found. Okay, we'll have to we'll have to see what now wait a minute. I'm dumb. Yep, I'm dumb. That's in in uh in my career. Yep. I'm getting confused here. But uh, there's nothing confusing about that shoulder block to Randy Orton there on the outside. And we're gonna we're just gonna drag him up. Oh, he reversed our kick here. And he's going to chicken out and head back into the ring. Not us. We're going to taunt. We're going to get Randy to come out here. Or we're just going to grab him and choke him. Bow! And then give him one of these. Just because. Woo! My, 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 Randy. Uh-oh. Reversal. Look at this. And a neck breaker from Randy Orton. We're going to have to catch him. Okay, what's he doing? Shoot! He's going to start stomping away at the limbs of CM Puma. And you know what that means. That means Randy getting ready for the RKO. Can we reverse it? Yes! We do reverse it. And Randy gets a straight jacket backstabber for his efforts. That's right, man. I don't know who the hell you think you are. You're not going to get me, son. Uh, get your head clapped. Okay, okay. R Randy, though, with that, with that uh, comeback. Oh, man. Into the corner we go. But we're going to... So, okay. I guess not. Get off of me. Nope. Boy, he didn't even flinch. Oh, another one. I was going for the finisher. But it looks like he gets another straight jacket. Let's go. Get up. You know what's coming, Randy. You know what's coming. The PKO out of nowhere. Not really out of nowhere, but... But that's not five stars. Not at all. Get up. Oh, well, no, don't get up. Frog splash and Randy moves out of the way. And, uh-oh. Don't do it, Randy. Shot to the stomach. And now Puma is in a bad way. And just as I say that, uh-oh. Into the corner goes Puma. And Randy sending him up top. What is on the mind of Randy Orton here? Oh my gosh. Randy's heading up. All the way. He goes to the top. Oh man. Superplex from Randy Orton to Puma. And Randy's going for the pin right off that superplex. Not a bad idea. I would do the same. And now with the neck wrenching. 
Neck wrenching of CM Puma. And now, okay. And we reverse it. Holy Toledo, we reverse it. And Randy walks right into a Puma Valley driver. Bam! And now let's charge it up. Let's charge it up. And pow! Puma catches him. Five-star matchup. Ref counted out. That's it. The Viper cannot withstand a beating from CM Puma. Great matchup from them from these two guys. So now we head over to SmackDown for or the week of the pay-per-view. See what's in store. Alright, guys. Well, here we take a look at the calendar. We are in SummerSlam week. Let's take a look at the news before we get too far. Kofi rushed down Victor before the match. Getting even for his teammate. Dolph got even with his rival's actions last week. And Shane appeared on stage to applaud Eric Rowan during his matchup. So let's see. We got AJ Styles with a promo. Jeff Hardy versus Jericho. Breezango versus the Hype Bros. Big E and Kofi. And the New Day versus the Ascension. McMahon and Rowan. Ziggler and Dillinger. Triple threat with Puma, Chad Gable, and Jinder Mahal. And then AJ Styles versus The Undertaker. So we've got a pretty awesome triple threat match here. This one we might start in progress just to keep the length of the video down. But let's get into it right now. CM Puma, Chad Gable, and Jinder Mahal. And I'm stupid. And press the simulate button. And it simulated the whole show instead of just the friggin' promo and just the match that I was on. So, okay. So AJ Styles has his promo. Hardy beats Chris Jericho, Breezango. They're the tag champs. They lose to Hype Bros and an elimination normal tag, two on two. Wow. The Ascension beat the New Day. McMahon, of course, is going to get a victory over Rowan. Ziggler beats Dillinger. Hey, look at that. We won anyway. CM Puma beats Chad Gable and Jinder Mahal. And AJ Styles beats The Undertaker. So that can only mean one thing. It is SummerSlam time. Let's go. All right, so here we are at SummerSlam. Let's um, take a look at the news here. Whoop. Where am I going here? There we go. Jeez. Big E and Kofi continue to ride a wave of momentum. Champion Shane McMahon and Eric Rowan continue to show each other high respects despite the high stakes of their coming title match. The animosity between Ziggler and Dillager has blown way out of control, and they're not going to rest. So here is the... Wow. Okay. Tag team that are, um, they are facing each other. Are they the tag team? They're not a tag team. I thought they were. I thought I had them set up. Okay, well, that's my bad. They're on Raw. We'll set them up after we finish SummerSlam here. Sheamus versus Cesaro. Rowan versus McMahon for the United States Championship. Cruz and Alexander, they've been going at it forever on Raw. Uh, the New Day versus The Ascension, Dillinger and Ziggler. Finn Balor gets another shot at Bray Wyatt. He did in the last pay-per-view as well. And Brock Lesnar versus Daniel Bryan. This is another matchup that happened at the last pay-per-view. So let's uh, get to simulating here and see what happens at SummerSlam. Sheamus has beaten Cesaro. Shane McMahon retains the United States Championship. Cedric Alexander wins over Cruz and winning that rivalry. The New Day has beaten the, the, the tension. Dolph Ziggler has beaten Ty Dillinger. Bray Wyatt retains the Intercontinental Championship. And whoa, look at that. No holds barred. Brock Lesnar is once again the Universal Champion. So if we go to take a look at our champ... Oh, we can't. Okay, well, we'll go to, to Raw, look at the champions over there, and do the same on SmackDown. All right, so here we are on Raw. Let's take a look at what are the new rivalries here. Bray Wyatt and Akira Tozawa. Sheamus and Bo Dallas Page and Nia Jax. Good night. Five more weeks of this nonsense. Let's look at our champions. Bray Wyatt is your Intercontinental Champion. Brock Lesnar Universal. Page is your Women's Champion on Raw. And Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan. So let's um, let's edit this. The bar, of course. And we don't care because that's, that's not going to come up. So we have 
Cesaro. If we can't, if we can find him, there he is. And we have Sheamus. Let's go to the S's. And they are the bar. Done. They are already ranked number four for the tag team championships. All right. So uh, we're going to head over to the calendar and see what's in store for us in the next video. And September, Night of Champions pay-per-view. Let's go over there. Let's take a look. Oh, we're going to face Eric Rowan right off the bat. I was going to say, let's look at our rivalries here. Dolph and Chad, Naomi versus Charlotte. And our champions are still the same. They have not changed since the last pay-per-view. And let's see. Ziggler defeated long-standing rival Ty Dillinger. Big E and Kofi pick up a decisive win. All right. So that is going to be... Oh, Bray Wyatt began addressing his championship reign, but was shortly interrupted by Akira Tozawa. Okay. Paige began addressing her championship reign. That's on Raw. So in the next one, let's take a look at superstars, and let's just go down to CM Puma. Number one contender for the U.S. title, 17th for the world title. We have the little rocket ship. Let's see what the rocket ship means, and it's got a four. This competitor becomes energized from a burst of momentum, increasing momentum and defensive attributes by one. Stacks up to ten times. So we've won two matches four times, and we're up stacked. It's about three weeks now. That's pretty nice. We are, we're freaking overall 99. Because we can't build up any more attributes. Well, I mean, we could. Oh, I, I, can, I can adjust? Well, I'm not going to do that. That seems like cheating. But this is uh, Puma. This is the Puma that has been exported from my career. So um, there's that. All right. So starting in the next one, we are going to start the first week of September on our way to Night of Champions. And... We've got, we'll see what's in store for Puma as the number one contender of the United States Championship, even though Shane McMahon and Eric Rowan are still in it for another uh, four to five weeks. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. And come on back for more Universe Mode. I've been CM Puma, and I'm out. <laughs>